In human skin, cells known as melanocytes convert the amino acid tyrosine into melanin. There are two forms of melanin. Eumelanin makes a darker brown to black pigment, while pheomelanin produces a more reddish to reddish brown pigment. Melanins are also the primary pigments in bird feathers, with eumelanin being responsible for the pigmentation black, gray, and dark brown, while pheomelanin is responsible for more of a reddish brown. As in human skin, there can be variations in the amount of melanin produced, the relative concentrations of eumelanin and pheomelanin, and the distribution of pigmentation over the body. For example, in the cat bird, it is eumelanin primarily responsible for the gray color, while the reddish brown patch under its tail is caused by pheomelanin. Melanin also offers protection to feathers, which is why wingtips are often black. Bright red, yellow, and orange pigments are derived from carotenoids, which are actually components of a bird's diet, which are then incorporated into uh, the feather while it is being produced. Interestingly, a female could then monitor to some degree the quality of a male bird's diet based on its pigmentation, given that the carotenoid pigments of the bright colors are coming from the diet. These carotenoids are typically not incorporated into the flight feathers. In humans, as the liver breaks down heme from hemoglobin, it produces a number of pigmented molecules, such as bile pigments. In birds, the liver can also break down heme to produce porphyrins, which can produce uh, a brown pigment in a number of bird groups, such as owls. Although there are unique color pigments which can be found in certain birds, the majority of the remaining colors of birds are not primarily due to the presence of a pigment per se, but rather in how the structure of the pigments such as melanin on the barbs and the layers of cells in these barbs reflect light. So as light is scattered differently, it then can produce a white color, although there is no white pigment. Or it produces the blues of a blue jay or a bluebird, even though there is no blue pigment molecule, the way that the feathers scatter light um, cause blue light to be uh, reflected. Uh, this also gives the majority of the green pigments in birds and also the iridescent pigments in birds. So they are not specifically a molecule which has that particular shade, but rather how the structure of the feather reflects light.